Hello Troar Enthusiasts, my name is James and you guys have been absolutely blowing up the first episode of this series, so I feel like out of respect. I have to carry on and you guys can keep letting me know what you like about it and what you don't. Um, I've actually just traded uh, the 10 Terra coin um, for a red hat, right? So I'm down to uh, 36, which is cool. Now, yesterday's episode, I was actually doing the long way of getting a grappling hook. There is actually a way of getting a grappling hook, right? So, I, I completely overlooked this, but this is the mill, right? So you walk up, and it says, Melody... <laughs> Melody always talked about some instrument what helped her get up to the top of the mill. She could easily replace the linen on her veins, and made everyone jealous. She may left. She may left it. She may have left it on top of the mill. If you can get up there, it's yours for the taking. All right. So we're not going to use that grappling hook. We're going to see if we can park all this one up. So it suggests that it's at the top, and I completely missed out on this little quest. Right. Okay. So we got to the top. You successfully climbed the mill and find Melody's grapple. Execute slash command quest mill. So slash quest mill. So I got a sapphire hook. Right. So that's how you do it. That's how you um, completely missed out on that yesterday. Um, <laughs> and since yesterday, the server has been blowing up, which is hilarious. If we look on the map, bam, loads of people, which is, uh, which is really, really cool. So today, we're going to be trying to level up. Uh, we have minus 10 tarot coins for that thingy. But we start. We left off on level 7, so hopefully today we can make it up to level 10. Um, and I'm going to be looking around the map for all these quests, because I didn't see them. So, like, let's see. Like this, if you go left, you will eventually stumble into normal slash hard mode. Well, I knew that one. This is a treasury. Oh, somebody also recommended that I, um, that I buy a bug net as well. So let's see, where was the merchant at? The merchant was at the top of this tower and the platforms to get there have been like destroyed. So we're going to have to get there a different way. So we're going to have to platform up, which seems like it's going to be cool. So I'm going to skip ahead to there and we'll platform it up. Okay, so instead of um, the platforming system, it seems like we have a little like blocky way up and that seems quite cool. So let's head to the top of this thing and let's get a bug net so we can start our actual fishing. We can start... Um, like getting some bait and such. That'd be nice. It'd be nice to get some uh, some more bass since we sold all of ours yesterday. Hello, Wilbur. I would like to buy your finest bug net. Nice one. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. We'll take these there and we'll we'll give these all a highlight just so we don't bin them or drop them, which is like a, a thing that I do a lot. Um, and what else? We'll highlight these. Is there anything else that we'd like to buy while we're here? Um, nothing really. Nothing I particularly want. Um, I'll tell you what we will do. We'll get our 10 minute buff again. One. And one. And then what we can do is we can head to the back to the uh, the jungle or whatever we were doing yesterday. And start um, and start like trying to level... Oh, a present! Right, and start trying to level up and such. This is weird. I didn't know um, presents kicked in until the 15th. Let's open it up. Got some eggnog. That's not bad. <laughs> That's a cool little uh, buff, isn't it? Oh, so it restores 80 health. Not bad at all. But the Christmas stuff has kicked in, so yeah, we're gonna head straight to um, we're gonna head straight to the jungle, and we're gonna start tackling some jungle enemies. And once I've leveled up, I may try and find some more quests because there are apparently like as we're reading, there are quite a lot of quests scattered throughout the world. So if we try and find one, we can do them together, and I'll be like our little RPG. So yeah, once again, thank you so much for the support yesterday. It's super cool. I have just run into an issue, I've just realised that we may have a bug net and a fishing pole, but we still can't mine anything because we don't have a pickaxe. So, um, I feel like you can buy one from the, uh, you can buy one from the merchant, can't you? Right. Well, I'm gonna head back to the merchant and see if we can actually get one. Uh, ah oh well, it's cool. Okay, so we're here and we can buy a copper pickaxe. Should we buy, um, should we buy an axe while we're here too, just so we have everything? We'll get rid of some of this eggnog. And now... It looks like we have a full inventory of stuff that we actually need. I probably won't need the rope, which is uh, which is cool. May as well reset our little minion thing as well while we're here, actually, because then it's gonna um, then it's gonna get us a little bit of extra time. And this looks very very cool. This little furnace, the way it's painted. Right, so we can actually do a little bit of fishing now. So I may get some bait on the way, but like I said, I'm heading straight to the jungle. Um, let's see how many people are actually in the jungle right now. Not too many, so it won't be too bad. Whereas, like, the competition for enemy kills is around here. Like, there seems to be quite a lot. So, we're going to stay right, uh, like, <laughs> stay away from that area and try and uh, focus on our own thing. Okay, so I've just stumbled across this place here. And do you know how I was talking about neglecting quests? Well, this seems to be the area where you can actually find most of the quests. So, this one, for example, is... You wish to gain 5 times 50 terror coins. Who wouldn't? There are rumors about lizard shrines in the jungle. So, this one's about lizard shrines. We detected some seismic activity. 
um, and the air feels heavier, and you feel some stuff. Uh, you feel some sulfuric tint in it. Uh, would you be so kind to investigate what is happening? We registered the disturbance coming from the west. Um, here, add another lab. Do you get the pattern yet? Now we should be easy. Uh, it's under a, lark, uh, a landfill. So these are all the, like, the suggestions of quests that we've got on here. Like, Professor Gyro has a, had a laboratory. Almost everything we think one is where sand is solidified. Melody bought back a new hook from the merchant. As she says, it's more reliable than her old one. Wherever if you hurry, you may find the hook before she throws it out. So that was where we got the hook. Uh, you need to be at least level 5 to complete the side quest and then speak to it about a cave so dark you can't even see it. There are rumours about its location. Townsfolk say it's either the forest of the dead or the desolate sands. So there's lots to do here which I'm really enjoying. Um, we found a paper about some experiments with snow. Professor Gyro surely likes to experiment with everything. The paper mentions his laboratory is mildly... Um, mildly what? Dangerous. There we go. So yeah, really cool little quests. I'm going to build up my levels a little bit more before I start jumping into them properly. But it seems like the quests are marked as these little green things. And then some of the other signs are just to kind of like suggest which the uh, shop is. So that's cool. Uh, it seems like there's a crafting station there and such. So yeah, making my way slowly. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty big map. <laughs> okay, all right, heading there now. Man, just look at this chaos going on. It's just absolutely mental because everyone's here and there's just so many enemies. <laughs> I'm letting my guys just take care of it. Look at these. They're all defending me. That's cool. And my slime's getting like little pop shots. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think that was going to last for long. Alright, let's bounce from this area. Ooh, almost dead. Ooh, very almost dead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm dead. Yep. <laughs> i tell you what, I should really go back and get that one gold. <laughs> i tell you what, to add to my hat collection, I'm slowly killing this Dr. Bones. Look at this, right? Look at how slow this is. <laughs> Come on, hey, there we go, archaeologist hat. The cool thing I've noticed as well is that the things that you kill um, actually get given to you. Um, and some of the things that you don't kill don't actually get given to you. So, like, nobody was picking up that present then because it was mine. Or at least that's how it seems to be. Oh, I've dropped my eggnog. Right, well, I'm leveling here until I get 250 Terra coins. Um, and then I'm going to head, uh, well, I'm going to rank up and then I'll probably maybe do a quest or something. Or maybe find something different for me to do. Um, I'm not too sure yet. It seems like everyone is mob rushing around here as well, but they've all been killed, so it's just me. Hell yeah for the summoner's glass. Okay, so I was in the jungle and I fell down and all these people are following me, which is brilliant, by the way. Um, and in the rubble you find some terror coins. Execute command slash quest. Shrinnel. Do I get anything for that? Uh, no? Let's try that again. Slash quest. Shrinnel. I'm gonna try slash quest shrine, because that doesn't seem right. Yeah. Well, um... I don't seem to get it to work. Slash quest shrinnel. <laughs> well, I'm going to carry on exploring. It doesn't seem like I'm going to get any terror coins here, but I am taking down enemies, so I'm getting terror coins that way, and that seems to work pretty well. Okay, I found this one as well, and it says, In the rubble you find some terror coins, execute slash quest shined one, which suggests that the quest isn't shrinnel, it's shined one. So let me try that. Slash quest shrine one. Correct shine. You are not in the right region. Oh, right, so I have to go back to that region. That makes sense. Shrine 2. Ah, you loot 50 terra coins. Ah, that's kind of cool. I like that quest. That quest is awesome. Well, we are now currently here, and the quest was up here, so I'm not too sure if we'd actually make it back up there. Um, I may have a little bit of a try, and we could do this together, uh, but it's very, very hectic out there. That there are quite a lot of enemies, and they seem to be quite strong. Right, okay. Ah, not bad leaping, not bad leaping. It seems like someone's got a flare gun around here too. I think it's one of these chests that may have, uh, need resetting. Uh, re <laughs> resetting. So, uh, alright, okay. Let's try and make over there. Alright, so let's get out of here just in case there's any medusas. Because I cannot be dealing with being medusad. Alright, let's head up here. Let's try and do this quest together, guys. Indiana Jones style. Actually, wait, come on, wait. Da, 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 da. I'm just gonna hold this. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Right. <laughs> there we go. Quest Shrine 1. I can't type that wrong. Shrine 1. Alright. 
The ancestors bless you. You loot 50 terror coins. Alright, so let's slash rank up. Oh yeah, we got a life crystal. I've become level 8 acolyte. Cool. Right, so we got a life crystal. Um, we can stop being Indiana Jones now. Right, so I'm going to head around the jungle a little bit more and I'm going to explore. I'm going to see if I can find another quest because that one was cool and they did hint towards that at the main area. Um, and if I don't find anything cool, like quest-wise or um, or leveling-wise, what I'll do is I will um, we'll go back to spawn and we'll go read some of the tips and we'll try and figure out where these quests are because it would be cool to get some starting quests done. And we are like a pretty good level now. Minus 250 Tarragoins. Ah, that's all good. We'll be back to normal soon. Ah, I live this. Nice. Yeah, cool. Alright. Alright, my ability to uh, get out the way, well, has been doing well. I can't grab these um, life crystals, of course, because I can't really build, but they look very cool indeed. Alright, so I'm going to carry on exploring, and I'll keep you guys up to date if I find anything. I'm really enjoying this, because every time I try somewhere new, look, I find someone. Someone's always around. Oh, a planter report. Very, very cool. Uh, it's very, very dark. So I'll leave this little area for later. And then we can uh, see if we find anything else. Oh hey, look, we found a we found a third temple and put some like cool stuff in it. Right, which one's this? Shrine free. Right, I just want to make sure we don't die. Right, let's try and uh, well we'll grab these little um, hearts. Right. Ooh, come on, let's try this quick. Slash quest shine uh, shrine free. Yeah, there we go, fifty terra coins. All right, let's um. Well, let's keep questing, I guess. I'm loving this, by the way, because I'm just picking up everyone that's died loot. Absolutely brilliant. Completely, uh, <laughs> completely funny as well, because obviously, like, people must have been picking up my loot yesterday when I died. Brilliant. <laughs> hey, I've just realised I'm back at spawn. We can actually go and buy some rocket boots now, because, uh, we have... Am I allowed to use these? Ah, uh, not allowed to use them just yet. That kind of sucks. Um... When are you allowed to use them? Who knows? Maybe like level 20 or something. I was just thinking, oh, it'd be really cool because we can use them now. That does make a lot of sense. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Well, what we can do is we can um, we can try out new stuff. I'm looking for a piggy bank at the minute because I want to make sure I've got all my gold. Oh, a safe would work. Ah, ah, this is probably why this place is called the treasury. All right, yeah, I just want to make sure that all my gold is nice and safe. Um, all my other loot should be fine, I guess. A-N-D-Y... Andy. Obviously the name of the Qataris creator is called Andrew, and that's why he's called Andy. Right, so what I may do now is I may check out some of the quest boards um, and just see what we can do. So let's, well, actually, let's check it out together and see if there's anything that seems like we could do. Five times 50 terra coins. Well, I only did three, and I, I bailed because I didn't want to die, so... Ooh, we clearly didn't do that one properly. Right, let's see. Right, okay. Some pirates in the inn had an argument about a tribe. Supposedly this tribe lived in the coldest of places. They wore ice turtle shells as shields and they always built services new and new ships. One of these new ships is rumored to be still in one piece under the ice. Right, so let's have a look on the little world map. Maybe, maybe it's past there. Well, that's where hard mode is, so I don't want to go that way. And I don't see, this world is pretty big, but I don't see an ice biome over here. So maybe... Ooh, maybe maybe there isn't a nice biome over there. It does tell you somewhere where all the um where all the things are, so maybe we'll leave that one. Um and we'll go for let's see. You need to be level five, we got that. Um Professor Gyro has been missing for quite a while now. You need to find him. His house is in the instructable overgrowth. It should be close to the surface as he didn't like damp places that much. Maybe he has something for maybe he has something for you. So we're looking for a house, right? Well I may go and see if there's this house over here. Well, it's obviously not that. But maybe there's a house over here that I'm missing out. So I'm going to go look for it. I'll let you guys know if I find anything cool um, on this little quest. And I'm not asking anyone in the um, in the uh, chat because I want to like try and do this on my own. Okay, so I have um, I came down this hole. Okay, I landed down here. One, I can rank up. So we're going to do that together. Rank up. Bam. Got a mana crystal. Kind of nice considering the class I'm playing. Right. And it says you are entering the instructable overgrowth. Normal jungle. That is what... It was listed as when um, when we were looking for that house when it was on the quest board. It called this the Instructable Overgrowth. Now I'm not too sure if that means that the house is underground because it said that it probably wouldn't be, um, or that's just the way they call the jungle. So if it is the way they call the jungle, if we head over there, we may find the house. Um, well, that's desert anyway, so I'm not too sure, but we'll have to see. Um, for now, I'm enjoying the mystery. 
<laughs> and I'm enjoying um, kind of exploring on my own for a little bit because everyone was like um, completely bombarding me, which is hilarious, but so chaotic, right? There was just people dying every second, people like jumping, taking their life for me. Brilliant. <laughs> so I'm just exploring on my own. Um, like I say, I'm looking for that quest house. I just don't know if it'd be over. I don't feel like it's going to be. I feel like this is just like a little side area into the jungle, but it does tell me about the house thing. I feel like it's got to be somewhere close. I don't know. I'll keep you guys up to date. Okay, so I didn't find the house, but there's this one here, which I, I feel like we should do the level five one. Is it over here? Um, they talk about a dark cave. You can't even see it. The rumors of its locations. Some say it's either the forest of the dead or the desolate sands. Right, and we found a sand biome over here, didn't we? This is more like an ocean biome, so let's go try it out. If we find it, we find it. It probably won't be to the left of the world because that is hard mode and they won't do that to a level 5, but maybe they would. Um, so I'm going to head there now and we'll see what we can find and then hopefully we can end today's episode with a quest. That would be pretty cool. This, by the way, is a little NPC. It's called the Commandant Amelia and um, she like gives you permission to build and such or something like that. Yeah, it's cool. Alright, I'm off there. We'll see if we can find anything. Um, and people have been chucking me coal, which is hilarious. Okay, so I've reached the desert, and I want to bring you guys along for this, just in case we find anything. And also, look at this little, like, uh, zombie thing. But look at this, though. This is even better, Wait. <laughs> what do you think of Mrs. Cloffy Ear Claws? Mmm. <laughs> That's so silly. But, uh, I can't even keep it on. It makes me laugh too much. All right. Makes me giggly. Right, okay, let's try and find this house. It may be here. Oh. Okay, so it's not here. That's fair enough. Oh, we got the dungeon, though. Um, and that's cool. I didn't know if I would find it straight away. Um, it wouldn't be a quest if we did. Alright, okay. Let's just kill off all these people. This guy's managed to live long enough. This is a normal dungeon. The building is fully protected after the initial corridor. Oh, cool. So, um, so you can't build and stuff. Oh, I've got a zombie arm. Why not? Right, so I say we go over the dungeon just to see what's over there. Maybe there'll be something. I feel like it's going to be something cool for the people that travel there for the first time. Like maybe like a little thing there. And then, um, ooh, let's get rid of this person. So we'll see that together. <laughs> I love that this person's like following me. That's hilarious. Okay, yeah, so this is cool. What's this? Uh, oh, so it's like an old temple ruin kind of thing. Oh, that looks really cool, man. The builders on this have done a really fantastic job, haven't they? It's cool, I keep seeing some little stuff that I've included in building tip videos. Oh, okay. The ruins are abandoned, and the people who live here are long dead. You find a veil on the floor. After picking it up, you notice a strange but distinctive smell. The veil once was once filled with a very powerful poison. What could have... Oh, vile. Not veil. Vile. What could have killed the uh, residents of this place? You look around, you find a marble block out of place. Who are these people? You head east to find more. Oh, cool. You look under the mossy marble blocks and you find an old mirror. Execute slash command story Greek one. Right, slash, oh, slash story Greek one. Ooh, an ice mirror, that's cool. Cool little line. Is there anything under there as well? All right, okay, let's, um. all right, so we're heading east. And we've seen a block out of place. Well, how, how do you know it's out of place, right? Ooh, 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 I want the gold. Ah, ha, 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 oh my god, it was not worth the gold. Ah, very smart, very clever. Genius people. I feel like this guy's going to kill me, though. He's going to get me killed. Look at that pressure plate. I don't want to go. <laughs> Die, minions. That's what you get for following me. <laughs> Take an endurance and I'm gonna heal up. Right, we saw that then, so. Ooh, there's two. Should we let this. Oh no, that's a little slime. I was gonna say, should we let this person come in? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we've done it. You sneak, you battle and sneak through the pitch black cave and finally notice something that is not dirt. You find a chest with a rusty lock. Cracking the lock with your pickaxe reveals a golden broadsword and some golden bars. The quality of the weapon suggests top tier craftsmanship slash quest cave. Ah, I'm going to sell them. <laughs> um, very cool though. Right, okay. Right. Let's try not... Get killed! 
Man. It would be cool if that gold was there just to tempt me to go in, because it, it totally did. Right. Alright, let's go this way. Right, let's see how the quest progresses. So we've got our golden broadsword and these gold bars, and they do suggest top um, top craftsmanship. They say go east, don't they? So we're going to carry on going east. I don't feel like I've missed out, have I? Maybe there's something... I know this, this maybe this is a bit of a long shot, but maybe there's something up here. Let me just check. I just want to make sure that we've actually got everything before moving on, because quest items seem to be really cool. Oh, there is a tree. Wow, this tree is really nicely built. Right, okay, now. Maybe the symbols of the patterns of the windows suggest something. <laughs> no. Right, okay, we're going to carry on going east, we'll see. Maybe we'll find Professor Grindy, blah, blah, blah. Alright, okay. We did want to come to the desert. Oh, do you remember? Do you remember how they said it could be in the desert? Ah. Maybe, ooh, maybe this is it. Maybe, oh, to be fair, though, it's probably going to be my death. Oh, what do you guys think? Do you think this is going to be it? Oh, okay, it's nothing that way. I'm going to really mob rush through this place. Are we going to find anything? Or do we have to carry on this quest tomorrow? Man, it is really dark. You can't really put up torches, so I'm not. Right. Okay, it doesn't seem to be anything that way. Ah, but there is torches here, which does suggest that something could be going on here. Oh, what's it going to be? Do you guys think there's going to be a house? I feel like there's going to be a house somewhere. Let's follow the torches. Ooh, a minecart track. Will this lead us right to the heart or oh, imminent death? All right, we've got to take this one carefully. Because it's more than likely imminent death. Ooh, there is torches though. And there is a little house here that seems to be kind of broken. And a chest, but the chests have probably not been reset, so we'll go and check it out either way. Alright, has this been reset? No. Right, okay. Right. Oh, what happens if we go through here and then come down here? Will we find a house? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, it's mossy. He did say something about being mossy. Because his house would be too close to the surface, otherwise it would get mossy. Oh, uh, something like that. Or maybe I'm just completely getting it wrong. This seems to be too man-made. I'm doubting the, uh... I'm doubting it. I'm doubting it. We killed a piranha, apparently. Right. Um. Oh. Well, I don't see anything. I'm going to have to keep you guys updated if I do find anything. Because I don't want this getting too long. The quest. The quest for the house that may not exist. Because I may be in the wrong location. And I've gone down the wrong route. Who knows? Hey, something actually awesome. We actually managed to loot one of these chests for once. And now it's obviously going to take time to reset. Ah. We finally did it. I thought that was quite cool to mention. Uh, I don't think I'm allowed to equip it, though. Is that a band item? Ah, no. Cool. Alright, awesome. Hell yeah. Right, so I'm still looking around, though. Don't worry, guys. We may find something cool. We may not. Okay, so we did go the wrong way. Alright, you arrive at the village and you hear a man screaming. After running up the small hill, you notice that there is nobody around. No sign of the source of the scream either. A sign catches your eye and you start moving towards it. Ooh. You approach the sign and see that there is a riddle written on it with red paint. At least you hope it's paint. The old one runs forever. Oh, sorry. This old one runs forever, but never moves at all. He has neither lungs nor throat, but still has a mighty roaring call. Hidden in the forest of the dead... Deep under the crust of the earth, you will find enlightenment. That's not really a riddle, that's more just like... Under the earth, you'll find a place. <laughs> but it's a very cool area, though. Question is, how do we get under there? Right? I don't feel like it's going to be this way. We're going to have to go to the Forest of the Dead. Tomorrow, my friends, we'll be going to the Forest of the Dead. So, thank you all for watching. My name is James. It's been really great that you've loved this series. Like, I really love that you are loving it yourself. Um, thank you so much, everyone that went on and supported the server last night. It's really good. Um, it was really nice of you. The server had to be capped a little bit, though, because there was too many people, and that's fair enough. It takes, like, quite a long time to get onto the server, but the wait is completely worth it. Because once you're on here, it's perfect. Like, that's the thing. Like, it's like waiting for something really good. Like, for Christmas. It's like waiting for a great Christmas present. Like, you know you're eventually going to get on it and, like, and, like, use it and such. But, you know, the wait is a little bit boring, but it's totally 